Hello, new explorers. It's me, Nam Greece, and uh, I am a full-time dancer, a dance instructor, and also I'm the proprietor of this MYC Nam Greece Dance Studio, and I am the managing director of Nagaland Dance Fiesta, and also I'm a content creator. So it was after my graduation, I decided to follow my passion. So it was in the year 2016, I uh, left my studies. I graduated, but uh, I did not go for my further studies. And I decided to go into full-time dancing. So I started uh, working hard for competitions and I gave my first audition at uh, NIT for Indian Hip Hop Dance Championship. And then I represented Nagaland at uh, Mumbai. And I got top six there, so from there I started my journey as a uh, dancer. So dance is not just an art form, but it is an art form. It's a creative art form. At the same time, it's a way of expressing myself. Yeah, the way I move the song that I dance to, or the emotions that I put into my movements defines what. Uh, I am and what I'm going through. It may be sadness, it may be happiness, it may be um, joy, maybe some struggles that I'm going through. So whatever I am and whatever I'm going through is defined through the way I dance. More than just an art, uh, we need discipline, we need commitment, we need to be persistent, uh, hardworking, and we have to be committed to, and we have to be hungry to uh, learn from others and also get to know more about ourselves. So these are the traits uh, that I should say will be uh, the best to uh, define a dancer. Okay, so everything started in church. <laughs> so we started as, uh, you know, the so-called choreography, those days we say choreography in church that we perform. And uh, uh, after that, I started performing in colleges, in some um, Christmas events, New Year events. So that's how I started. And I didn't exactly remember the first time I performed, but I think uh, it was, yeah, we were dancing to one Christmas song. and. I I made a mistake <laughs> there. Of course, I was nervous. I made a mistake, but at the same time, uh, I felt very free, you know, because I was on the stage and I was just enjoying. So that time I realized, okay, this is something that I want to do. And, you know, I saw people, you know, coming and um, encouraging me. And whenever they, uh, I perform, uh, people just shout you know take my name from the audience and they clear for us it gives me a very good feeling so that's how i uh, realized oh, this is what i want to do you know so i started uh, doing this and then i continued dancing till today i never gave up dancing oh my family have seen me dancing since i was very young so what they didn't have much problem with that, but when they realized that I was actually giving up everything, you know, my job, and they realized that I was not searching any government jobs, that was the moment uh, they had to put pressure on me as well because they wanted me to um, take up this, um, you know, I mean, uh, give some exams, competitive exams, and get some job. You know, do something about myself because uh, it's not their mistake. It's just uh, the way they have been brought up. They don't know the scope about, uh, I mean, the generation have changed, you know, so, but they're still there. So they were not able to relate with what I was trying to do. So in a way, I was having some, um, yeah, family pressure as well. And also, like, there were people, there's relatives and, my parents' friends who were saying, you know, things um, like I'll just go out, do some jobs, and take care of your parents. It took me like a good reward. No, there's working out, 
part of war, you know. So this, those were the um, challenges, you know, and those were the uh, words they said to me. So that was a very big challenge for me. So I just kept silent and I just had to prove myself. So I started work, uh, working very hard. So initially it was very hard, but when I started achieving some titles, that's when they realized, you know, they saw me in YouTube, they saw that I was prospering in my own field. So they didn't give me much pressure after that. Okay, so like the marketing uh, here, it's very less when it comes to dancing. It's like maybe hardly 5%. So uh, if I totally depend here in Nagaland, of course it will take some years. But if I'm able to, you know, reach out in national or international level, then I can see myself as someone who is traveling and imparting the knowledge and encouraging people through my life and also having, you know, more than studios in different uh, districts of Nagaland. And I want to, I mean, I, this is my dream to see, you know, dance studios in every district. Like for right now, it's just in Dimapur and Kohima just one. So this is my desire to see dance studios in every, uh, in every district and also this is my desire to uh, see dance clubs in every schools and colleges. I want to be there for all the dancers in those districts, in those schools and help them in every way I can and also I want to have one of the best dance to you in the entire Northeast. So that's my dream and also to travel the world to dance. Uh, it's like uncountable. There are lots of genres, so I cannot mention all of this. But uh, the one that I usually do is hip hop, popping, locking, grumping, or, or as far as I know, some styles like waking, salsa, ballet, contemporary. So these are the common dance genre that we do here. Every traditional dance form, they have their own culture, they have their own roots. And uh, when we perform these uh, dances, um, it, it's, it's a way of expressing our culture, you know, and our tradition. But, I mean, when we compare it to the Western dance, we cannot use tra traditional dance, you know, to sustain us. We cannot use it to compete with people outside in Nagaland. So this, Okay, it's, it's good to, you know, let people see our culture and all these things. But if we take this in a competition level, then uh, it's not possible, you know. So for a performance, you know, to watch and then just enjoy or to understand about uh, culture or certain uh, tribes or village or anything, yeah, that's fine. But when it comes to, you know, competition with the world, uh, we have to go with the Western, so because it's universal, everyone does it. And when it comes to um, Western dance, we are more expressive. We can express more of ourselves, our style. Um, so yeah, that's the difference, and we are able to compete with the world. Even us, we organize events. I have my own dance event organization that is called Nagaland Dance Fiesta and we have been organizing for five, six years now. So we organize this to give platforms uh, to our upcoming dancers. So this is one in Nagaland and there are a lot of other dance or competitions organized in Dimapur these days, maybe some small jams. And we also organized the first ever international dance day celebration in Nagaland, which was held at PR Hill Junction in the open street. So we had dance battle there. That was the first ever street uh, dance battle and the first ever international dance day celebration in Nagaland. So that was the thing. So uh, it's on 29 April, so we, we might be organizing again. So that is, this is the two events, Nagaland Dance Fiesta, uh, and we also organize Hornbill Dance Off. 
So we organized this during the uh, Hornbill Festival in collaboration with the uh, Nalan Tourism. And so, like I said, there are other competitions in the Mapur North is Solo Dance Championship, Into the Beat. And yeah, there are lots, lots of other competitions. We held it annually. And um, if we see in India, we have this Indian Hip Hop Dance Championship. And we have uh, World of Dance and All India Dance Sports Association and All India Dance Federation. So those are, among all those, I would prefer Indian Hip Hop Dance Championship and World of Dance. So what happened is uh, we get selected, you know, from different districts, I mean different states. The dancers are selected and auditioned from different states and then they give uh, they go for competition in national level, maybe in Chennai or Mumbai, Goa. So we have this uh, national level championship. Whoever wins the national championship will get the opportunity to represent their country. Get more exposure, like as much as possible. We go into go to uh, competitions, attend workshops go for dance classes, go for dance workshops, you know, if you have the, mm -hmm. the facility and the financial support, then please go out and uh, learn from people, you know, from the right people, from the right source, and even YouTube or maybe anything, you know. So that's how I I learned, you know, from different people. I, I learned from different videos and I get ideas and create my own, you know, like my own piece. So, and also like music plays a very important role for me. Um, music, the more I listen to music, the more I get ideas, you know, according to what the artist is trying to portray in that particular song. So, yeah. Good. Also related to our own personal life, uh, of what we are going through, of what I'm going through, I get a lot of inspiration for myself as well and yeah. yeah mostly through the things that I go through yeah there are a few one is the first uh first ever Nagaland uh dance flash mob in a wedding so that was the thing we that was the first ever flash mob you know dance flash flash mob uh in a wedding we perform in at uh, NBCC Convention cent Center, so we performed there around like 25 of us. It was a big group, so that was one thing. And another would be the recent video that we just uploaded, and it was, I mean, it has always been my desire to produce a film along with dance. That concept was, you know, in my mind for so many. Uh, days, months, and I think it, it has been years. So I was able to release it. It took a lot of effort to produce that one. And everything went so smooth, and we have got a lot of good uh, reports, good comments from people, and we were really encouraged. So that is one thing. So uh, it was my dream to be in a you know, national, international level. So I started in 2018, but after COVID, I stopped because I was not able to go out. So I still participated in online, international online competitions. So I won the World of Dance title and also got nominated in some categories like Best Edits and FX and Best Cinematography. So Oh, that was like a dream for me, you know? I mean, like, it's not about me being there on the stage, but getting the title of World of Dance was my dream. So I have that right now. I know that that was just a beginning for my greater uh, opportunities and bigger dreams. So uh, I am uh, planning and I am working on it right now, and that is to be on that international platform with my team. Uh, I mean, I want to take this 
Nagaland team to an international level. There's co competition and being a title. That's my dream. That's my unfulfilled dream. And it's very big. Um, but I'm working hard on it. Uh, and I believe that it will soon, soon happen if we don't give up. So we're just working hard, working, trying to figure out things. So this is one dream that I'm yet to fulfill. As compared to previous years, I think uh, the scope of dancing has improved a lot. And not like to that level, but uh, up to a certain level, at least these days we are getting paid. You know, people, people are not inviting us for free. Uh, we, even if it's a small amount, we are getting paid. You know, like uh, those years where we were running here and they were just entertaining people for free because we didn't know about that. Stop, you know, that entertainment has a great value. But now we have realized, so uh, it's it's getting better. And then um, if there are more opportunities, like mm, more events, more concerts, more uh, events, and, you know, like Hornbill Festival, the government and events, you know, such as Republic Day and Statehood Day, Independence Day, and you know, like these those uh, government events, as well as some private events, you know, like private concerts, like birthday parties, you know, all these things. If there are more events, has entertainment value. I think there will be a good scope for you know, like for the dancer, not only a dancers, but as an artist, it will be have a major impact. If there are dance clubs, you know, in every schools, I mean, there are a lot of schools in Kohima, in, in, in Nagano. So if every school have this dance club, dance class, uh, I think it will open a bigger opportunity for the dancers as well. The only thing that's needed is even that as a dancers, we have to be uh, equipped, well equipped, and we have to train properly. And uh, we have to be ready. We cannot just go and teach something that we don't know. You know, we have to be ready. We have to learn. We have to get the knowledge. We have to study a lot. So if we are ready, I think once we get the opportunity, the door is always open for us. So this is like my appeal to the government, you know, like to this particular art called dance, because it's not just, you know, for entertainment. It's, it's, it's a way of healthy lifestyle. We stay fit mentally, mentally, physically, and it's 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 a great opportunity for us, you know, to uh, get out of depression, get out of, you know, like sometimes we feel like we're not good in studies, we're not good in this, we're not good in that, and dance has always been a way of releasing those issues, you know, through the way we dance. I'm speaking to the community or expressing to the community about what we are going through or what the community or the society is going through right now. So dance has always been a way of healing, you know, people um, and their emotions. Uh, because, you know, according to my experience, sometimes we see a video and people are dancing and we are going through something, you know, it really speaks to us and that really gives us a joy, you know, like, and a hope. So dance is not just for entertainment, where we shake our body, and it's not about that, you know, it's it's more than that, and it's a beautiful gift, you know, from God. And I think it's high time to, you know, like promote dancers. There are a lot of dancers who are really working hard with representing Nagalin outside the state, but they are not getting the recognition that they deserve. We need space, we need, funds to go and represent our state. Yeah, and this is what I request, you know, the government to just open some scheme for the dancers so that we are able to fulfill our dreams. We are able to make our state proud as well. So uh, this NYC Lumbier Stand Studio is located uh, near this Capital Cultural Hall, Kohima, uh, near, also near this Seiges and uh, it's called NYC building and oh, we have like around 15 students all together right now and we give fitness classes and dance, dance classes as well. Uh, for dance classes we have on Thursday, Friday at 4 p.m. 
and for fitness classes it's uh, three days per week uh, Tuesday uh, Tuesday Thursday and Friday at 6 a.m. in yeah in the morning yeah. so we also have you know different dance classes like one is the general class where we have on Thursday and Friday at 4 p.m. and another one is private class if you want to take you know private classes you want to take alone <laughs> and you need some privacy then you can take uh, that as well and if you are working and you are not able to come you know and join the other dancers at 4 p.m. You, you are most welcome to join at 6 or 7 p.m. so we have different class for that for working people as well and yeah, the admission fee for both fitness and dance class is 1,000 and our fees for dance class per month is 1,000 and fees for the fitness class is 1,500 per month. Yeah, so we started this uh, dance studio because there are a lot of good dancers in Nagaland, but they, they need some guidance, they need some people to guide them and um, them, you know, so this is the re reason we started this uh, studio, so that uh, everyone, um, so that we have a community where we can come together and learn from one another. So yeah, this this our main goal, and also so that we all stay healthy and fit. So um, yeah, if you aspire to be a dancer, a full time dancer then I'm telling you, you have to work very hard. You know, there, there are times you don't have to sleep, you know, you, you can't sleep. <laughs> you have to work very hard and you should be disciplined. Uh, if not, there's no point because if, without discipline, you won't be able to go forward when it comes to dancing. Uh, so you have to discipline, you have to practice, and you have to be persistent. Whether you get paid or not, whether you get money or not, you have to work hard initially, you know, so yeah, uh, just work hard, you have to sacrifice a lot and also uh, be teachable, like you have to uh, be teachable, like always be hungry to learn more than you want to teach, be hungry to learn even more because that's how you grow and yeah, just stay humble, just Think out of outside the box and get more creative. Then and always dream big and always uh, have the dream. You know to grow every day. Okay, so I think I've said quite a lot of good things and very promising and encouraging words. But at the same time, I also want to. Uh, just share um just share my heart out so that um you know it's not easy you know to take your scope as a dancer sometimes it's, it goes smooth sometimes you you have to cry you know uh, you struggle a lot and sometimes it's like uh, flying above the sky but uh you have to accept both you know it's not like you have to give up when you are the lowest, there will be time you want to give up. But um, if you have dreams, if you have passion, if you know your calling, if you know your word, uh, you'll be able to um, move forward and achieve your goals. Uh, you have to be focused and persistent uh, with, with the goals that you have. And um, I also would like to I also would like to encourage everyone, all the viewers here. You know, dream big. And yeah, never give up. There's always um, sun after the rain. Yeah, never give up and um, always be ready to take criticism. Uh, there'll be people to criticize. Uh, people will think you are crazy, but um, be ready for that and be ready for the struggles that you go through. But every struggle will be worth uh, the success that you will have someday. Yeah, so uh, all the very best to everyone. Thank you so much, New Explorers, for having me today. It's an honor. <laughs>